Well, we're back to the event weeks. We're back to Thursday event weeks more specifically. And going forward, it does look like Thursday is gonna be the day again for GTA. This week though, we got some interesting things that actually happened. So as you're saying, the week this week is a super yacht life week. It's kind of just an extension on the summer update because I believe they have double money now on these yacht missions. Don't know why that wasn't like a thing when they came out, but hey, whatever. Uh, and then we got some other cool, interesting little things. So like it does say, you get double rewards on the super yacht life mission. So I know those missions aren't the like the greatest, but they're, re they're really easy to do it. Except for that last one. The last one's a challenging one, but it is really fun. That one's probably the best mission they've ever added to the game as far as like contact missions are concerned but the missions they're relatively easy so getting double money i mean it's it's free money basically they also have three times money on adversary modes that i guess you can play uh double money on transform races i mean those are cool but usually there's not many people playing those so i guess hopefully now with the double money we might see some more people in those lobbies the real interesting thing this week, though, is this, the twat t-shirt. So if you just log in to GTA Online at any point this week, you will get this free t-shirt. And the reason this is so interesting is because this is just a number of things that they added with this previous, this summer update that have ties to Liberty City. And we all know there's this new location coming. I don't know. Maybe this is their way of teasing Liberty City sort of coming back into GTA. I'll make another video more in depth on this because there's some real interesting things regarding that. But it's just another thing to add to the list. Uh, teasing Liberty City. And then the lucky wheel vehicles, the Pipster 811. Pretty solid vehicle. You get that for free. And then the discounts, more yacht discounts and some other vehicles. 30% off the Devastate's a pretty solid one. 30% off all boats and a bunch of helicopters and uh, some vehicles there. Nothing too crazy as far as like an event week goes, honestly. I mean, it's a pretty standard one. I mean, here's the Twitch Prime stuff. Remember, you still get $200,000 each week if you're Twitch Prime. And if you're on PS4, you get a million dollars each month. So make sure you're getting that but you get the uh, the nightclub property this week actually so if you're wanting to move nightclubs that's actually a pretty solid deal if you have a nightclub and you don't really use it and you want to recoup some money from it go ahead and get this free nightclub because the game will actually it'll reimburse you basically for the nightclub you have so if you want to make i don't know maybe a million or so that's an, a very easy way to do it and then you get 70% off the proto x80 proto and then 80% off the hellfire which is one of the best vehicles in the game just come on it's the hellfire so that is the event week nothing too crazy like i said except for the twat t-shirt that's pretty solid and if you're a twitch prime member you can get some some free money doing uh, the little trick of just swapping out your property the only other thing and i'll have to look even more into it is this fun mw2 said that they actually made it available to wear the cop uniform in GTA Online again. So before today, there was a blacklist for the cop uniform. Basically, anytime you wore that cop uniform, the game would instantly remove it. Well, for whatever reason, they de-blacklisted it. So you can now wear the cop uniform again, although you cannot save it. So you have to just always wear it. But I'm going to have to look into this and see how you actually can acquire the outfit and uh, once I find that out, I'll make a video if you guys want to wear a cop uniform. And hopefully this, you know, lasts forever because who does it hurt? But again, another thing that points to that cop DLC, man. But yeah, that is the event week. That is what is happening in GTLN this week. Nothing crazy, but got some interesting stuff nonetheless. Thank you all for watching. So don't forget the video. Please drop a like if you enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.